Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the idler pulley in your dryer. The reason why you might have to do this is because the drum won't turn or because the idler pulley is making noise when the dryer is running. For this repair, we'll be using a short Phillips head screwdriver, a regular size Phillips head screwdriver, a 5 16 inch nut driver, and a flathead screwdriver. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is our dryer that we're going to be using for this demonstration. It's a Maytag. Keep in mind your dryer might be a little bit different than what we've got here, but the same technique should still apply. The first thing you want to do is make sure you turn your gas off. So I'll be using a Phillips head screwdriver. And it's our little short stubby guy. Because we're dealing with an awkward angle and not a lot of space. Now that we've got those screws off, we can tilt the front panel forward and those clips will come right out. And now we're going to carefully set this down. We've still got wires connecting the front bulkhead. So now all we're going to do is just unplug these two wires here. And we can set this bulkhead off to the side. Now we're just going to pull out the lint filter and set that off to the side for now. And now we've got to get to a couple more screws and unscrew them. They're going to be on the inside of the dryer though. And there's just on this side of the lint filter. And now we've just got one more screw in the middle, which is a Phillips head screw. There we go. And now we've got one more screw that's holding this on. So we're just going to remove these two screws here and the whole entire piece should just come right off. So now we're going to remove the screws off of this side. And we're just holding this in place. So it doesn't fall down. And now you also want to remove this blue wire here. And with all that off, we should be able to remove the front bulkhead. And we can just set that down off to the side. Now the belt is still on here. So what I want to do is I want to pull this drum out slightly like this. And then I'm going to go back into the back here. And in order to get the belt off, we're going to have to push up on the lever to release the tension and reach in with our other hand. And now we can just take that right off. So now we can pull the drum out. And as you pull it out, just be careful that you don't get the belt caught on anything else. And if you do, just reach in there and get it out. So this is our pulley. It's actually the pulley wheel. In order to get it off, we just need to remove this clip right here. So I'm using a flathead screwdriver and I'm just going to gently push it off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just carefully pull the pulley off. We can take that washer off first. Just pull this pulley off and make sure that the washer behind it stays right there and we'll get rid of this old one. Now you can grab your new OEM replacement idler pulley. If you don't have one already, you can find it on our online store. So now we'll put the pulley back on and we'll put this washer back into place. And now we'll put the retaining clip back on and all you have to do for that is just line it up with those grooves right there and just push it straight on. And now we can put the drum back into the machine. And as we put the drum into the machine, you're going to want to make sure your belt goes along with it and doesn't get caught on anything. Once again, that it's pretty loose on here. Now to put the drum back on, 
we're going to take the belt. We're going to go on the other side of the wheel here, just like this. And we're going to lift it up, keeping this all together. And then loop the belt around the shaft here. And make sure everything's on straight. There we go. And then everything should be able to spin freely now. So now that the belt is on the wheel and the drive shaft, we're going to put the drum onto the roller wheels. And you can see here, we'll spin the drum around a couple times. And you'll see also that our blower wheel is spinning as we spin our drum. So once you've got that, you know that you've got it in the right way. So now we can put the rest of the dryer back together. So you can line up your duct assembly with the blower here and that plastic will actually go on the inside. That'll help you with lining everything up. And once you do that, just lift up on the tub a little bit and everything else should line up nicely for you. So we've got these little tabs here and that'll help you with lining everything up. You're just gonna wanna slide the tab into that bigger hole. And once we do that, we'll screw it back on. And now we'll plug the blue wire back in here. And now I'll screw these screws back in on the inside of the duct assembly. Now I can put the filter back in. And now we can hook the wires back up. So we're just gonna make sure that we've got the wires in the same arrangement that they were before. Yellow goes on this side. And the blue one goes on this side. Okay. Now go back to the front. And now we're gonna wanna put the front panel back in place. To do that, we're gonna just do the opposite of what we did to take it off. We're going to pick it up and angle it a bit and just tilt it back until you hear both of those clips snap into place. Then you should be able to close it up. And now we can screw the bottom back in. So you're just gonna to wanna to make sure your panel's pushed in all the way. And once you do that, you should be able to get your screw started in the hole. There you go. And now we can just screw it back in. And once that's screwed in, you can plug everything else back in and your repair is complete. And now we can turn our gas back on. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, pcapplianceRepair.com. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.